Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something of a cult classic. It's loud, it's aggressive, it's the KWA MP9. The MP9 has been used in a host of video games and movies over the years and is arguably one of those instantly recognisable silhouettes. In terms of Airsoft, the MP9 enjoys a large following of very passionate owners and while perhaps not known for its reliability, the MP9 is regarded as some of the most fun you can have on the Airsoft field. So let's make our way through this one and see exactly what you guys can get right out of the box. Starting at the front, <laughs> unfortunately the uh, suppressor you see here is an optional extra. In terms of this one, it's actually a power booster as well because this is the extended barrel. Uh, as you can see it's a spring-loaded affair and attaches to this rather unattractive muzzle at the front of the MP9. Unfortunately this is designed purely to work with these. Uh, there is an aftermarket thread adapter, I'm led to believe, that you can purchase that will turn this into a standard 14mm counterclockwise thread, although I've never actually seen one in person, so I couldn't attest to how good it actually is. Moving back along the gun, you will find, if we turn it around this way, it's a bit easier to see, you will find a host of uh, Picatinny options. We have uh, on this one a Picatinny rail down the bottom. There is actually another version that you can purchase which uh, doesn't have this rail and actually has a foregrip already molded into the body of the gun. But we have more Picatinny space at the top and some on the opposing side which is obviously where the pec box is attached on this one. They are all pre-moulded in, so it is all plastic, uh, but that doesn't detract too much from the functionality of it, the rails at all. Uh, in terms of controls, we have bolt release, we have a cross-block fire selector. So you'll see, hopefully, uh, a little red dot there that uh, signifies single fire. Push it through, come to the other side and you'll see three little red dots which means you're on full auto. In terms of safety, we have a, a traditional trigger safety there. We have the mag release and the bolt release there as well. Nothing overly complicated about any of this. Uh, the receiver and the whole gun really is all polymer, just as it would be on the real steel MP9. It's certainly a very lightweight uh, design, very compact and very agile and there's really no need for any of it to be metal anyway. So, um, In terms of performance, uh, rate of fire, absolutely blistering. That's entirely what these guns are known for. Unfortunately, in terms of reliability, uh, they do have a tendency, or long-term owner's report anyway, that they have a tendency to shake themselves to pieces. Uh, as I say, they are a very aggressive firing gun. Some of this can be negated by the replacement of the bolt uh, and probably should be uh, replaced actually because uh, unfortunately here in the UK you'll find that a lot of these MP9s actually come out of the box a little bit hot, especially if you're hoping to use them in CQB. So you will need to replace the bolt. There is a, a specific CQB bolt you can buy to go in and it'll just bring the power down a little bit, take some of that slight aggression off of the fire and uh, help give this a bit more longevity in terms of reliability. Obviously in, ter in terms of that as well, you can help the reliability issue by regularly maintaining the gun. But, uh, and you know, the these things are what they are, unfortunately. Uh, the stock and the, or the brace at the back is a folding option out of the box. It's very, very nice. Uh, works very well. I will say one big plus point with it is because of its design 
and the way it sits quite low in comparison to the, the height of the rail and therefore the optics as well. Even when you're wearing full face protection, it's very, very easy to aim down your sights with this thing. There are some aftermarket options available as well, and if you check out the link down below in the description, it will take you to another one of my videos where we discuss the Airsoft Artisan option which is more of an MP7 style retractable system. Uh, that's good as well, has its pluses and minuses, but I'll, I'll let you check that out in the other video. Uh, in terms of this one though, very, very sturdy. It is all polymer as with the rest of the gun, but uh, does exactly what you want it to. It, it, it shoulders really, really nicely. It's got just the right length on it. And uh, all in a, well, as a, as a proving a point of how well it's built, you can actually support the whole gun on the stock and not fear too much of anything snapping or anything like that. So, um, All in all, is the MP9 worth your consideration? Well, I'd have to say yes, it certainly is, for its rate of fire and the noise alone. But uh, for £200, I don't think you can get a better gas blowback SMG uh, for your money really and I would have to say I highly highly recommend the MP9 for anyone who's looking for perhaps an alternative to an MP7 or something just a little bit different to running CQB to your sort of ARP9s or anything like that. Okay, that's been my look at the KWA MP9. As always, if it's been of any help to you in a purchase or just any enjoyment to you at all, then a like and a subscribe is always welcome, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.